we run a structural deficit in our primary fiscal balance of about 3 plus percent of GDP. That gap is covered by the NIRC. It's something that you know, is very important. If we didn't have the NIRC, then we have to cut back almost 3 percent of GDP of spending. That's a lot. It will mean less public housing for Singaporeans. It will mean less infrastructure. Our trains, our buses, we'll have to cut back on services. This is tightening of the belt to an extent that no one has ever felt before. The portion that goes back to the reserves is important because if we don't have anything going back into the reserves, the value of the reserves will diminish over time. Some people think that, you know, just take more from the NIRC, what harm does it do? And the other misconception is we already have so much. So what's the harm? Our reserves, let's say it earns a return in real terms of about 4%. If we take half, it means 2% goes into the budget, 2% goes back into the reserves. Our economy is growing at about 2% every year. So if our reserves is growing at about 2% and the economy is growing at about 2%, it means that our reserves is keeping pace barely with our economy. So it's not as though we are oversaving. <laughs>